Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I am JT O'Sullivan. Today we are going Mac Jones. AFC wild card game versus the Bills. Obviously didn't go their way, but we're really going to take a deep dive here on Mac Jones' performance specifically and see where we can maybe foreshadow some improvement for where he's going to be able to keep getting better in his game moving forward. So excited for this one. Let's dive into it. Welcome to the QB School. So before we dive into the video, quick moment here to reemphasize the importance of the quarterback school Patreon community, really kind of trying to revamp that community over there, streamlined the process to be part of it, made it cheaper, excited to share it. So if you've ever been interested in supporting the channel and being able to take your football to the next level, really kind of understand what it feels like to be in an NFL quarterback room. That is the environment that is created in the quarterback school Patreon community. Really in-depth, detailed videos over there. Excited to share them with you. Get over there, support the channel. I sincerely appreciate it. As for this one, let's get into it. All right, going back to Mac Jones, AFC wild card, tough L, 47 to 17. Obviously didn't go their way, playing against a really good defense, but we're gonna see what we can learn from the film about where Mac Jones ended this season, what we can look forward to moving forward. Right here, a beautiful comeback to the left. A little DB pressure. That is an absolute seed strike. Lots to like. So first thing here, just the motion. Watch what the motion does up top. Short motion, bounces the coverage. So now you go from press on that comeback to off on that comeback. And in addition with the short motion, you get that short motion coming down. What does it do? It kicks this coverage off so now instead of running a comeback versus press coverage here he bounces off inside and now we've got it versus off coverage and with this short motion you've now created this wider area to be able to go attack and so love the ability to get it versus off coverage and then he throws this with anticipation driving it to the field wide side of the field there's just a lot to like this early in the game ripping it Driving the ball down the field. You can check the anticipation here. Let's it go right there. Still not out of the break up top. That's good coverage, right? I mean, he's sitting on it. Beautiful. That's an absolute strike. On the body, on the break. Love it. In the elements, obviously not a perfect day to throw the rock. But man, that is driving the ball down the field. Ripping it to the wide side. Love it. Next one, third and long, third and 14. I want to say it every time we see that scoreboard, but I won't. I'll only say it a few times this video. Right here, though, watch getting Henry coming all the way across. No, no, no. Kind of a sleepy good athlete. Like, I wouldn't say, you know, anyone's going to necessarily describe him as a dynamic athlete, but certainly has the capacity to get out of the pocket and be dangerous, whether it's running it a little bit or going to get a first down. We're doing this. Get outside the pocket, use your vision, find the open guy, stress the defense. And so just a, an added layer that I think you would look for, some element of this being more pronounced moving forward. So there's nothing there. He's at the top of his drop. Where's he supposed to throw the ball? Nowhere. We take an L, get beat inside at right tackle. The absolute what you don't want to do on a chip Good enough athlete, good vision, playmaking ability outside the pocket. Watch the right tackle, the back on the right tackle. Chip, spin off. Oh, come on, man. Damn. Get beat inside with chip help. A beautiful job from Mac Jones. Love the vision. Love just the touch. I mean, that's not a, it's not a perfect throw. It's a little bit behind him. But he's throwing it up and over a linebacker. So there's an element of touch that this angle really shows off. That's on the run. Not setting your feet. Nice catch, too. Sideline. Not happy about it down there. Love it. Next one. This is a beautiful design play. This might be the next play. From the backfield down here to the bottom corner. Takes forever. Wide ass open. Drop. I mean, that's a fair catch. He drops that thing. That's tough. It's going to be tough to win on the road anytime in the playoffs even more but this is beautiful pass protection and again not a perfect throw okay but 
the design of this thing, like if you're going to have time to be able to rip corners from the backfield, so really this is like a plus five here, right? Yards wise here, you know, normally you'd run a corner from the line of scrimmage up and out. And even that, you know, it's an intermediate pass from the backfield here where you're going to kind of use the X or split end type here as like a shield. So you get right in behind him, almost like try to tailpipe him and then come out of it. This takes forever. You know, we can count the hitches here, but this felt like great pass protection, an opportunity for a big shot. You know, you're on four or five hitches. Really nice. I mean, maybe you could anticipate that a little bit better, but that's going to be really hard to anticipate a corner from the backfield. Just a really nice job doing everything you can, but you can't catch it for him, coach. What do you want me to do? I can't throw it to myself. But I love this design. Outstanding pass protection, hanging in there, and then driving it down the field. He's got some really nice drive throws that surprised me watching this tape. Third and 10 this time. Another disaster situation potentially here. First down. They're going to play any iteration of man. Quarterback's always going to be a threat to run it. And again, sleepy athletic. Eat up the back. So the back can't get out on a check down. Now you know you got to run if it's not there. No, it's not the fastest, twitchiest. <laughs> Ball security there at the end. He's going to get hit. Love it. It's a big play. Third and 10, y'all. It's not easy to get first downs at third and 10 for anybody. Mac Jones got the capacity to decision wise here. You know, maybe could you throw it to the number three running that like sail route? You know, probably not. Your right tackle's getting walked into your lap. I like this decision. I like seeing this on film. These are all good signs. Driving the ball, making plays, playmaking, scrambling. There's a lot, a lot to like early on here. Now you got to be able to put it all together. And don't get me, don't get it twisted. I understand who they're playing against. Now I have a whole video on this play. This is a pick. Double move up top. Free safety comes over and gets it. So you want to see the entire thing. I'll try to put a little thing in the corner, pop up, go over there, spend 10 minutes learning exactly what the hell went down here. But I'll give you the, the short of it. Okay. Besides the ball, pun intended. Slightly inside, slightly underthrown. When you catch middle field closed. So we're going to do the double move up top. Go. Okay. In man coverage. Okay. In man coverage. So middle field closed and man coverage. This is the quarterback's responsibility. This guy. The DB is the wide receiver's responsibility. So there's no reason, don't do it, pump to the route. You want to pump to control the middle field player. And let me say that again. Man coverage. Okay, he's eyeballing him. The quarterback has to control the middle field player. He cannot make a play on it. You have to throw the ball with enough touch and drive to be able to get it up and down before he can make a play on the ball. He has to beat the DB with his double move and you have to hold the middle field player. So if you're going to come out here and pump or shrug, you should really do it down here. Who are you pumping and shrugging? He's not even looking at you. Okay, that's the short, that's the, the long short of it. Okay, you want even more detail? Check out the other video. But it's also a nice play from high. I don't get it. To, I get it. But that should be a touchdown. This is a touchdown call. These are the type of calls that would really, really piss off or type of plays that would really piss off coaches. From a touchdown to a pick. Damn. Again, just watch the pick. Watch the pump. See, all that does is give the middle field player a head start to go there. Pump, look, stare, get it up. And the ball uh, inside a little bit. Bummer. So that was at the start. What time in the game was that last throw? Let's go back and see. So that last throw interception was a first and 10 ball in the 34, six, seven left in the first quarter. Next meaningful throw. The next real meaningful throw came under two minutes left in the second quarter. So there's a big gap there that is probably beyond the scope of this video. 
about play calling, giving Mac Jones some opportunity to drive the ball down the field, some tough situations. But this is a beautiful comeback again to the bottom of the screen. You know, just watch the bottom of the screen. This is not easy to do. Throw comebacks in the league consistently. That's a beautiful. Now, the technique down here at the bottom of the screen, anytime you're bailing with your rear to the sideline as a DB, the offense is going to think they can get anything they want towards the sideline. So let me say that again. This technique at the bottom of the screen where you see this cat bailing, he is getting depth with his rear facing this way. A play caller on offense is going to think, I can come up and do anything I want this way. We can go this. We can go speed out. We can go hinge. And we can we can do a lot of things. We can just run, raise up and throw a hitch. Hey, two minute though. We need to get a little bit of a chunk. We got to move the ball. Catch the anticipation again. And again, beautiful anticipation. He's breaking his arms right there. The wide receiver at the bottom is not out of the route. Ball is up on his face. Now, if anything, you'd love for him to catch it and stay in bounds. But who knows how they teach the technique there at the end of that thing. But that's a beautiful. I love it. These are impressive throws. Driving the ball. Ripping it. Rotating. All his cleats in the ground. Powerful. Next one, third and four. Hot. Bringing corner blitz. Really hot plus two. No idea what the back's doing there. Just get the hell out of bounds. But... We're hot to the right. The center's going to the left. He's going 49. We're hot off the linebacker and the corner. Just love seeing any quarterback, let alone a rookie quarterback, throw hot in a two-minute situation. Really great job. So here's where the ball ends up going. The offensive line, five guys, they're blocking these four. One, two, three, four, and then I'm pretty sure they're going to this linebacker type. So we get this backer blitzing, we're hot off of. This corner, also hot. This looks like normally these pressures, I'm like, this is not defensive school, but earlier in the game, maybe the first throw of the game, they brought the weak safety. And usually if you have a weak safety call here, blitz or pressure, and it's this type of condensed split, so where this eligible is really tight on like what most people call a nasty split, you can see them communicating here. It's usually just a you or me go. So he can go here, and now he's off into the coverage. That's so you don't have to bring him in this tight, condensed window. He's already down there. At the end of the day, we're hot off this, and we're hot off this. He does a great job seeing it, getting the ball out, getting an opportunity to go downhill. Love seeing young guys throw hot. Get the ball out of your hand. Don't get hit. Nice base, great vision. Just a simple little throw in a two-minute, but the, those are great reps and great evidence that he's being able to see what's coming, knows what to do with it, decisive, everyone's favorite processing. Those are those clips. Halftime, you dig the channel and you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the bell, get the notifications. It lets you know when we go live, when we put out new content. I certainly appreciate the support for the channel. Again, revamped, relaunching, quarterback school, Patreon community, sign up. Link is in the video description. In addition, we've got a bunch of quarterback school courses. So if you're looking to take your football IQ knowledge to the next level, the courses are a great way to do it. Great investment into your football knowledge. And finally, we've got a bunch of additional free tools. All of those things can be found in the description to the video. I appreciate you. Check them out. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see moving forward. As for this one, let's keep it going. Right here, fourth and medium, fourth and five, 20 seconds left. Inside fade, up top, number two, back shoulder. Simply a beautiful throw and catch. I think that, I mean, this is what I want to see. And when I think about watching Max Jones consistently over the course of the year, maybe not taking some of these shots down the field and being as decisive as this. And I get it. It's fourth and five, two minute. You can, you know, the game's slipping away. I think at this point it's 27, nothing. But this is a beautiful throw to the slot. Look at his base. All his cleats in the ground. Ripping it. Great front side. Beautiful, accurate ball right on the back shoulder. Nice catch, too. It's just outstanding. You know, this is him moving it. Showing a little touch, accuracy, decision-making. Love it. Next one, though. Now we're in the third quarter. Interception down here to the bottom. Now, half of this, to me, is just bad luck. It really is. The other half 
is just, I really, I, I dislike this play. I'm not going to lie. And, and again, it's easy for me to cherry pick. You know, I show you whatever I want to show on these highlights, but I try to show the touchdowns and the interceptions pretty consistently. What is this? Well, or why are we doing this? So we're coming over here. He gets what I would consider a tight motion or tight shift here and runs a quick out, which first of all, I just hate quick outs in general. And then we have a stick with it or a little turnout. Think up top, then run slant, flat. Okay, a lot of people run this iteration of play. And so oftentimes it's close, open, matchup, close, whatever. There's so many different ways to read this. But with this, what, what I think I dislike the most is because, you know, he's in a tight-ish split here. You know, this is not a wide split because he's got to run this quick out. It feels condensed. Like it feels like you're covering yourself here by running this, and these guys are just close together. And it, you know, to me, I think if you widen this thing out, if you're trying to throw it here, let's just widen him out and run a go, like a normal stick. Uh, I just think it's unnecessarily tight, and it's compounded, obviously, with a tip interception, thanks. But I think that one of the few times here, design-wise, with McDaniels, that I just didn't like this. Like, look at the spacing between these guys. You know, they're four yards apart. And again, you know, that's not really, I don't know. Like the tight end breaks down a lot, almost like an option top, as opposed to a true stick that to me is, ba boom out. See how they're kind of like in the same lane? That's just not great spacing. It's just a, it's one of those things you, you wouldn't expect from a Patriots team, in my opinion. And bad things happen, tip balls. Unfortunate. First interception. Definitely Mac Jones. This one, not so much. Think of it a little bit design, a little bit bad luck. Nice play. Tough though, tough to win. Next one, third and seven. This is a big shot up top on what I'm used to calling like a seven or a circus right over the corner. This is a massive throw. Now that's a drive throw to the field in the hole. <laughs> you know, not a 75 and sunny day either. It's just really impressive with some of these throws, specifically outside the numbers. Like these are things that I think, you know, quarterback fans, Patriots fans should be really excited about. Now, interweaving this into more consistency, specifically this stuff down the field, I can't tell you how, you know, difficult this type of throw is where you're going to essentially read this corner. You're coming up here, and you, he's going to get an inside release in the corner, come up, and push it towards the corner. So, And then there's usually something in the flat to kind of... And you really just are looking at this flat defender, this corner, and if he gets depth, you throw it in the flat. If he doesn't get depth, if he tries to tweener this thing, he does exactly what Mac Jones does and drives that thing to the hole. Now, this is to the field, wide side. This is a big boy throw. This is a, Matt, this is a, you know, a Josh Allen-ish throw as far as just the audacity of some of this like this not this is not early he's not anticipating he's seeing this and driving this i mean look at the wide receiver throw up the damn mailbox mailbox is up the corners you know he's watching watch that corner up top kind of throttle his feet right there, there got him and that's a beautiful accurate throw man right on the sideline look what it does whoo that's the you know that's kind of the snapshot that you want to be able to recreate more consistently for this Patriots offense. It's a big time throw, rip. Love the drive touch that he showed in this game. We got a couple kind of meaningless touchdowns here at the end. A corner down here to the bottom to the number three receiver. Everybody runs this red zone. Two ends in a corner. Just bad defense. Guessing. Nice job by Mac Jones being able to see it, though. Am I the only person that's distracted by the, I'm going to guess, a cop or security person who looks like it's like a kid in an adult's jacket clapping? Must be the only person. Again, nice job from Mac Jones. Good vision. Again, kind of that touch drive throw. So what is this concept? 
seen it called a bunch of different things. I just call it basically like a red zone smash where both these guys are coming in, running five yard little fins, and you run a corner here. Now, just by matchup here, it looks like my man just loses his mind defensively because he's he's got him leveraged. You know, he's outside leverage, although it looks like he's almost cheating to the number two. Just a miscommunication on defense and make him pay. I'm not going to apologize. And that was a fourth down. <laughs> I'm sorry. My eyes are just half dancing, half clapping. Next one, third and four. This is really at the end of the game. Missed touchdown, getting to the check down. You know, I put this on there really because, you know, this is obviously a throw you would love to make. But it's one of those things where, you know, it's not it's not easy to get through these reads when you're like, you know, this is, you know, at least a three plus read here. So whatever's happening down the field, whatever his read is, and I'm not going to pretend to tell you what it is, he hitch, 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 gets all the way back to a check flat. So he has protection responsibilities, nothing, then he's into the flat. And so everything is nice here for Mac Jones, except he just needs to bring his feet with him. So watch him. Check, check. One. Up. Get, just everything is great. You know, no one around him for 10 plus yards. And could he catch that? Yeah, it's on his shoelaces, but we, we can get a better throw. You know, 9 out of 10 times. 10 out of 10 times. So I think it's just about you know, part of it is just the consistency of of what he's doing from within the pocket. Because there are certainly moments that are great when he's on schedule, on time. Even when things break down, he's got the capacity to make some plays. But then to have these ones bleed in there, these are these are ones that he's going to get rid of. One more time here, because this is the last one. It's the wood that makes it good. Fourth and four, another touchdown, another corner up top. Again, really nice job. Just the touch of this thing. Nice play design, too. Use of the motion. Great red zone beater. Again, they certainly, Mac Jones can certainly replicate these types of throws. You know, this is a beautiful touch. Incorporated with this really cool design where you're going to come down, fake like you're going out. For the outside wide receiver so we're in motion so with, with these short little motions if you're getting any sort of bump press banjo puts a lot of stress on these two guys so this is essentially think of think of this essentially as two on two here we got these two versus these two what can we do offensively to get the leverage we want all right here we're going to short motion we're going to get up to the corner that's the landmark then the underneath Defender is going to pretend like he's going out, put his foot in the ground, and loop back in. So basically, you've got an outbreaking route and an inbreaking route, and really, you've got two outbreaking routes, and then this guy comes back in. So it just puts a lot of stress on the defense. Really nice job from Mac Jones. Now you still have to be able to throw this ball with great touch, accuracy. Really like it. I love how the Patriots allow him allowed him to flourish with some of these throws that he was good at. These drive throws, these, you know, touch throws that he's proven he can do consistently. Just want to see more and more and more. So that is a wrap. Mac Jones, obviously, didn't go their way. Obviously, ran up into an absolute bulldozer of what the Bills are right now. Defensively, what they're able to do offensively. And so Mac Jones really, besides for a handful of plays... And, and a handful is too many. But really, besides for that red zone pick, not really red zone pick, but pick in the end zone, I thought he played pretty well. And I think that there are a lot of things that Patriots fans should be excited about to see him flourish in even more moving forward. Those, some of those drive throws outside the numbers, his ability to show some touch in the red area, his ability to drive the ball down the field, even a little bit of playmaking outside the pocket, scrambling, all those things. If they all make a big jump, it's going to be pretty exciting for Mac Jones and the Patriots moving forward. Thank you so much for hanging to the end. I will see you next time. Have a good one.